Well, my name is Liane and uh, I am in Australia, not born, but I came from Germany a long time ago, about uh, 50 odd years ago. Australia has become such a home to me that I really barely remember the country I came from. I was born in the war years and my Christian life was non-existent. So I came to Australia married. We worked hard, we became business people and uh, it turned out that our marriage broke up. I was left with a little boy of eight months and uh, again, Lord was not near enough. I pray for the people who don't know that they can. They can reach to God, they can ask God. But some people really don't know, and I didn't know. Anyway, I had various accidents which were near fatal. Very great miracles that I lived. And because I lived, I, I know with great certainty, he knows us before we know him. Because I would have never found him otherwise. I would be dead long ago. I had two broken pieces in my spine. And one night I cried, and don't ask me how I knew. I cried, your word says, knock and it shall be opened. And I cried all night. I didn't know anything more. I just cried, knock and it shall be opened. And I'm knocking, I'm knocking. I was knocking, you know. I woke up and I went out of bed and I could walk. Now I knew this was the Lord. I knew this was the Lord, right? Although I didn't know anything about Lord or anything at all, I knew. And then the Lord spoke to me in my heart. He said, you've got to be baptized. And I never even knew adult people being baptized. Now this was funny to me. And I was told that adult people do get baptized, yes. <laughs> Somebody told me about a, a Jewish man, and I love the Jewish people, I have to mention this, I love the Jewish people being a German, knowing about the wrong that was done to them, wrenched my heart. So yes, yes, I wanted to see the Jewish pastor who had become a Christian. And that's how I was baptized and I believe I became a Christian. <laughs> I had a satellite put in, and when I discovered God TV, I realized that all these people that I, I, I loved and admired, like uh, Bonke was one of my, my beloved pastors and preachers, were, in my opinion, pre uh, preaching the truth, you see, Jesus didn't die on the cross just for pastors to have a well-paid job. He was not raised on the cross just to raise our standard of living. According to his own mouth, he died for us that to seek and to save those who are lost. That is the heart of God and to be involved in that is the greatest I believe the greatest calling possible on earth and every time I take a microphone no matter where there's a fire burning in my soul I want hell empty and heaven full hallelujah hallelujah People wonder why deception, they worry about deception. But you see, if they cry for the truth, because Jesus is the truth, they never get deceived. Jesus is too faithful to let anybody who cries for the truth, right, get lost. So that was why, why I think that what comes out of God TV in my heart was truth. And all the people that you choose 
you know, to come and preach. In my opinion, bring forth truths. I adore the faithfulness that they are going into the countries, having a, a ministry on their hands which would baffle any human mind. You are showing uh, what is behind the scene. You know, not just preaching, not just teaching, but you're, there's a human heart behind it. There is, there is so much love behind it, you know, to give time to these things that moves my heart, right? Yes, and as for giving, you know, this is very important to me because when people are um, born in Germany and you see the things that they treasure, which are very treasured in Germany, very possession conscious, yes? One minute, boom, and it's dust and ashes. I come from Cologne. Anybody knows about Cologne? There was nothing much left from Cologne but a few shells of houses. So I'm very conscious of all these things that we call our cherished possessions. They are a moment time and they are no more cherished, they're dust. I can never find so many souls you know, I can preach to one or the other, but to bring to the Lord, that is such a gift, that's such a blessing, you know? It's such an incredible, incredible wonder to bring souls to the Lord. 200 nations, how many souls are listening? And we know, we know there is an anointing upon the word that goes forth. We know these people are people of God. And we know that when God is for them, that the anointing goes forth for souls. So I'm a firm believer that the billion souls is well within reach, you know. It will be so, yes. All we have to do is know. The, be part of it is a blessing. It's such an awesome blessing. Well, I have been a God TV angel, <laughs> a beautiful name, isn't it, uh, for six years. The, the reason why it isn't 60 years is because God TV wasn't there. <laughs> because if I had known them before, I would have been one. To be just a part of it is a privilege. It's such a privilege, and I'm so blessed with this, you know. I wish everybody was a uh, God TV angel, and I believe many would be if they had a small inkling, just, you know, how, what the dimensions are. And when we join ourselves together with them, that we become part of something that we can never do with ourselves. There's no hope that we can do this, you know? How far can one person go? But this goes into nations. And when I realize these things, of course, there is no doubt that I love to be, you know, joined. Let's say the Lord can move the boundaries. You know, we don't know what's going to happen, but if people believe it for it, he can push the billion. Yeah?